I'm Quinny, welcome to Rugby Park. In this video today guys, we are here to see Dundee United take on Kilmarnock in the opening game of the season. The team sheets are out, Challenger Euro Pro is off to a great start. We've got Unique Mulgrew on the pitch, we've got Super Rare Hearts on the pitch and also friend of the channel of course Tony Watt is in the starting lineup alongside new signing Stephen Fletcher. Should be great fun. It's the first kind of neutral stadium in Scotland I've been to in a long time and the last time I, the last time I seen Tony play was his most memorable goal of all so I'm hoping we can get some good story of game week memories this week guys. Let's get stuck into it. If you could hit the subscribe button, I do daily global football content. Everything from Wonder Kids and Rising Star Managers to fantasy football and watch alongs. That will also automatically enter you into my April giveaway. This month, I'm giving away a rare under 23 goalkeeper in the Turkish Superliga, Diego Souza, and two limited goalkeepers. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. <laughs> Kick for a unique Mulgrew right at the edge of the box. I think Tony's over with him as well. This one for a goal, come on. Two heroes over it. Yes. Mulgrew!
in for some drama. Everyone off in Scotland. The Marlins fans are just Rangers fans without tickets. As you can hear. So happy to get a draw. Full time on each. Parks is red cards, definitely fucked us, and then losing the clean sheet bonus in the 90th minute. Is that right kicking the balls? We're looking forward to see how the scores finish out for Harks and Mulgrew. Obviously, looking forward to Jackie Marcus and Rio Hitati. I know Tony came off in about the 60th, 70th minute, and I think he's ended up with about 50 points or so. Good first trip to Kilmarnock for me. Unfortunately, no win for Dundee United, no clean sheet. But, uh, yeah, decent enough game. In a game that felt very SPFL, there wasn't actually that many chances, to be honest. If, in terms of quality of chances, I think Kilmarnock probably had the better of it, but Dundee United were much better actually on the ball. I think, you know, in possession it did feel like Dundee United only had really 10 men going forward. And uh, when they did go down to 10 men, they then felt like they had 10 men off the ball. And it just made things really hard, backs to the wall stuff, and Kilmarnock's pressure eventually leads to a goal. Hope you've enjoyed our first visit to uh, SPFL ground that wasn't Celtic for a game week. Be sure to check out the channel at 20 past four today as we will do a watch along for Celtic against Aberdeen. Let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. I'm still doing monthly giveaways and I'm making it easier to enter. If you want to be entered to win this month's prize or any future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, you need to be a subscriber to enter, then leave a comment down below. Each month, a random comment from a random video will be selected as the winner, so the more videos you leave a comment on, the better the chance you've got of winning any of my giveaways. All the winners are announced at the end of videos the same way as we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. As always guys, if you've enjoyed the video today, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.